Here in the east, a project along the Crystal Coast is beginning to wrap up three years later. Leaders in Emerald Isle say dune restoration and dredging may be done on the Bogue Inlet Pier in time for Easter weekend. They say it's technically the start of the season. Night on Your Sides reporter Kayla Schmidt is live in our Jacksonville studio. And Kayla, what are leaders telling you? Leaders in Emerald Isle are excited to welcome back visitors and finally have the beach back they knew before Hurricane Florence hit in 2018. Along the Crystal Coast, dredging projects are almost complete. Florence kind of uh, took away a part of our dune and also the flat part of the beach, so our job is, to, is basically put that back. Officials are finishing up a portion of dredging in front of the Bogue Inlet Pier with hopes it will be done by Friday. The rest of the nine miles they hope to have done by April 30th. This deadline is basically because of the of the nesting turtles. The nesting turtles start coming on the beach. The deadline also helps out with the upcoming visitor season. We're marking a line in the sand, which is an invisible line in the sand, that this is a fresh start. Town manager Matt Zapp says for the first time in history, the town will have its certified lifeguards out, flags up, and a second ambulance ready four to six weeks early, effective April 1st. The reality is we have to provide these services because we do see an influx of guests coming earlier. Zapp says Says that with the pandemic, it never really slowed down, but now the town is seeing hotels book back up. You know, we know that the full length of our Bogue Banks will more than likely have visitors throughout this week. So we're thankful for it and we're looking forward to that uh, replenished and the safety that the new, the new sand will bring to us on the beach train. And if you are looking to hit the coast this weekend, don't forget that paid parking is also in effect April 1st. For now, live in Jacksonville, I'm Kayla Schmidt, 9 on your side. Kayla, thanks.